Hey, it's Liam Killen, and today we're gonna to talk about sidechain compression. This specifically is a video that's been requested many times, and I think with pretty good reason. It's something that's talked about a lot, and it's just very powerful if it's used properly. It's also a technique that's used so much in electronic music that our ears almost expect it at this point. So what is sidechain compression? Essentially what it means is that you'll be triggering a compressor and asking it only to work when a different audio signal comes in. It could be used on anything really, but in this example, we're gonna be taking our melody and sidechaining it to the kick drum. Essentially the kick drum will be squashing the chords every time that it comes in, making it sound much more upfront. And so I'll be walking you guys through this right here. LK, Logic Pro 10, let's do this. I've got my chords here and I have my kick drum, which will be sidechained to the chords. And I also have the rest of the drum kit just to add a context as to what this sounds like all together. So we'll start by soloing the chords. Let's take a look. Here's the kick on top of the chords without any side chain. Let's hear them together. It wants to be something cooler, but it sounds a little bit Blah. right now. It's a little bit flat, not that interesting, doesn't really catch my attention. But yeah, there's something there. A nice little side chain pump would really help take it to the next level. So let's throw a compressor onto these chords, audio effects, dynamics, compressor. This is what a compressor looks like in Logic Pro 10. There's seven colors to choose from up here. I'm going to choose Vintage FET just because I like that color. <laughs> to start with, let's just get a feel as to what sidechain compression actually sounds like. So we're going to be using it really intensely at this point. Turn off auto gain as well as auto attack release and head up to the top here where it says sidechain, click it and go to instrument, kick. For me, kick in this session is instrument two. For you, it might be something different. So now the compressor is only gonna activate when the kick sounds. We'll make these settings very intense just to hear that quality of the side chain. So bring threshold all the way down to minus 50, max out ratio. Changing the attack will trigger how fast the compressor works. So if it's at zero milliseconds, it just works right away. If it's at 200 milliseconds, it takes a lot longer for it to activate. For now, let's bring that attack down to zero milliseconds. We want it to react right away. A similar thing with release, how long do you want that compressor window to stay open? So as little as five milliseconds, and you can go all the way up to 5K. Warning, this is gonna sound ridiculous. Let's go. So that's just absolutely ridiculous. The release is just way too high. So let's bring that down to 100 milliseconds. Let's try that. That's sidechain compression. The next thing would be to turn down the intensity knob and turn up the tasteful knob. Yeah, because at this point, the kick is just totally taking over. We want these chords to be prevalent and the goal is for the kick to punch through, but then come right back down pretty much immediately afterwards. Let's work on making this a little bit more tasteful. We'll start with attack and release. I'm actually gonna move the attack to just, just above zero milliseconds. Release, I'm gonna bring it down to maybe 20-ish. So now the compressor will stop squashing 20 milliseconds after the kick sounds. I'll turn the threshold down to maybe around minus 20, minus 25. I'm also gonna turn the ratio down to about between three and five. Here's your preset starting point and I encourage you to adjust things and really get a feel for what your ears like. Let's take another listen to this with these new settings. It's always good to hear a before and after of what you're doing as well. So let's A-B this. This is generally around where I would keep my settings. It's really common for producers to think that you just have to compress the shit out of your drums or 
raise the gain like crazy to actually hear them. But in reality, it's subtle tools like this that help improve your mix. The kick is really just playing at the same volume. Our ears are literally being tricked that it's louder because it pops out of the mix more. Logic's compressors are really on point and they actually included a graph here. And this gives you a visual of how your kick is cutting through the mix. Let's check it out. There's also a sidechain tab here where you could tweak even more settings. Typically I just leave this as is, but I always encourage exploration. There's also a general compressor mix knob, which most compressors have. Let's tweak that a little bit. It's all about that subtlety. The last thing we'll do is bring the other elements of the track in. I think I might add some sidechain onto the hi-hats as well. If you want low end, hard hitting kicks like this, sidechain compression is definitely your best friend. Really any style of electronic music, our ears are just accustomed to hearing this sort of compression. Really just a solid way of giving our ears what they want and bringing your mix to the next level. To sum it all up, step one, start by adding a compressor. Step two, set the sidechain to the track that you want. Three, set the attack and release, which essentially determines how fast and how long the kick is gonna squash for. Finally, set the threshold and the ratio, which determines the threshold of that squashing. You guys know what to do do. Follow this guy, keep producing dope beats, and I'll see you guys in the next video.